Hey everyone, welcome back to the place for testing every single mask on Amazon. Today we are looking a lot at kids' KF94s, although I got a feeling that this one is not legitimate. Let's open up the box and see what we find. Purim mask. Purim, is that like supposed to be like pure? The thing that's giving it away here is the fact that this is not a mask that KF94 folks would normally do use. But I'm not, I won't withhold my judgments here. I'm going to look into this. It's a good clamp. And we'll let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are doing the N95 test here on this KF94, so it should pass at 94%. So let's see what's going on here. Ah! <laughs> yes, yes, gotcha. Not a KF94. So KF94s have to be made in Korea. It's part of the standard. If you look on here, you can see that it's made in China. And it's using the executive standard 2626-2006, which is the KN95 standard. Now, to be N95, KN95, you got to say KN95, you got to say GB2626-2006, which is weird because it's a super old standard. Uh, the current standard is 2019. That was made in 2006. And you also have to have the manufacturer name. They don't have any of those things. And on the listing, which may not be the manufacturer's fault, but they're claiming to be a KF94. So they're not, because it'd have to be made in Korea. Now, anytime that we find, uh, so I, it's, it's crazy. It's literally happened overnight. KF94 used to be the go-to. You could, you could buy almost any KF94 and it was gonna be good. But overnight, China jumped in and said, not so fast, we're gonna make KF94s, which of course they can't because it has to be made in Korea for it to be a legitimate KF94. Ooh, that's pretty good. Now here's the thing, why is that important? Well, the Korean FDA is, seems to be pretty good at policing their own manufacturers, and that's why the KF94 design is so good. I'm gonna call this a newly opened Lego set. Very plasticky, but you know, exciting because the possibilities. Well, remember, the 94 in KF94 uh, is, is uh, uh, stands for 94% filtration on this machine. Plus, on the box, I was able to find it actually say, hey, I'm telling you guys, it's actually a KN95. Why do they put that there? Because in order to export out of the country, China makes them put an executive standard on. So they're like, uh, I don't know, guys, it's a KN95, which means what? It has to pass that 95%. But what does the machine say? Let's take a look. <laughs> this is two for two. It makes me feel good to find them. Man, these fake masks, I just, ah. Uh, 21.456, 21.456. I mean, that's just terrible. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the journey to find and expose those fake KF94s. <laughs> you know, hey, this is just me, but I wouldn't put my kids in the uh, Purim mask. There are better real KF94s out there made in Korea that you can trust. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I will check you on the next test.